Hi, I'm Fon Queen. Watching the morning edition of Prime Flash coming to you live from the studios of my media Prime Television here in the nation's economic capital. The while I begin this newscast with effects of downpours in some parts of the country and barely weeks into the rainy season, roads in some parts of Cameroon have been given way as a result of heavy downpours. Following yesterday's downpour, the highway connecting Bamenda to the west region has cut off after the checkpoint in Santa. Movement of vehicles and persons have come to a halt with some passengers continuing the rest of their journey on motorcycles and others continuing on food. We remain in the northwest region of Cameroon, still under the effect of heavy downpours that left parts of the road in Bambili impassable. The road that is under construction by the Edge Construction Company was cut off as a depression appeared on the highway sinking two vehicles. Following the incident in Bambili yesterday evening, the company working on the road expansion was seen carrying out some rehabilitation works. Still in the northwest region of the Republic of Cameroon, several shops have been reduced to ashes at the Bamenda food market after heavy downpours yesterday. Sources say the flames affected the section of the market that deals in the sales of charcoal. We now talk the effects of road and this time in Kumba, Mema division of the southwest region of the country where the residents of Krama were unable to step out of their homes as water took over the neighborhood. The downpour yesterday left many indoors in that neighborhood as roads and streets were flooded. Now, the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paul Athanganji, had instructed the 10 regional governors to shut down Pentecostal churches where pastors preach against the respect of anti-COVID-19 barrier measures outlined by the government. In a correspondence addressed to his collaborators Wednesday, March 24, Minad Boss says, says it has come to his notice some pastors mostly from revival churches with no legal existence preach against instructions given by the head of state to curb the spread of coronavirus according to minister paul athanganji such churches that defy covid 19 preventive measures should be closed and pastors arrested and brought before competent authorities now, security forces yesterday tear gas used tear gas to disperse the population of Jumbi Pinja who gathered earlier to view the remains of er, uh, Paul Eric King, a mayor of Jumbi Pinja, Mungo Division, littoral region of Cameroon. Locals demanded to view his corpse and equally for it to be paraded around the municipality before burial, but authorities turned down their request, request indicating he died of COVID-19 and had to be buried in strict compliance with anti-coronavirus barrier measures. Paul Eric Kingi died in the early hours of Monday, March 22, aged 55 in a medical facility in Douala. Out of the country, a trial related to one of the worst massacres during Ari Coast post-election crisis of 2010-2011 started Wednesday this week. It is a long-awaited trial that could determine who were the accomplices of former militia leader Amande Uweremi in the massacre in the western town of Dwekomi. According to several non-governmental organizations, Mr. Uweremi's militia was also responsible for the destruction of a displaced people come in 2012. Now international charity Doctors Without Borders has said its staff witnessed Ethiopian soldiers killing at least four civilians in the country's embattled Tigray region. In a statement, the organization said three staff members had been traveling in a clearly marked Doctors Without Borders vehicle on Tuesday on the road from the regional capital Mobili when the attack occurred. The agency has called for the protection of civilians during conflict. 
and Botswana's Environment Ministry says it identified 39 more elephant carcasses since January as it investigated the unexplained deaths of elephants in the country. The latest deaths in Mwami Games Reserve at the 330 deaths reported last year between May and June in the country's Okwango Delta. The ministry ruled out the otrags and bacteria infections as the cause of the death. The hundreds of deaths last year were attributed to the ingestion by the animals of toxins that can occur naturally in standing water. This ends the morning edition of Prime Flash on my media Prime Television. The news was compiled and produced by Christian Tebong. My name is Von Quinta. Up next is in the house with Alan Summer. Stay tuned to more programs on the African Eye. Goodbye.